Okay, in this video, what we're going to be looking at is uncertainty of uh, collected measurements. Okay, so um, it, the best way to actually deal with this is to do this uh, via an example. So let's say we have uh, three students that took measurements of a specific item. And student number one, let's say, found that that item was equal to 3.47 centimeters okay and then student number two measured the same item and figured that the item was 3.40 centimeters and then student number three the final of the three students took the same uh, measurement of the same item and that student thought that the item was 3.44 centimeters based off of the uh, measurements. So one of the things that you'll notice here is that with a high degree of certainty, the students can actually say they're very certain about this, or pretty certain, that the item that they're measuring is actually 3.4 something centimeters, okay? 3.4 something centimeters. So how do we go about uh, actually expressing the uncertainty related to this uh, second digit after the decimal point? Um, how do we go about actually expressing it in a scientific way? Well, one way uh, to go about doing so is to take the standard deviation of the three uh, measurements here in order to figure out what the uncertainty is uh, for the measurement that was taken. All right, the uncertainty equation is equal to, or, or to be more specific, the standard deviation equation is equal to the square root of the following, the summation from sample 1 going to n, so that's i is equal to 1 going to n, of x sub i minus x bar, which is x average squared, all divided by the number of samples minus one, the difference between of that, okay? So this sigma here, if you're not familiar with, means a summation of this num this uh, difference squared uh, from of the total one through n number of samples. So in our case, n is equal to three because we have three students that took the uh, measurements. Okay, so how do we go about finding that uncertainty here? Which that uncertainty is related to that last digit that we're not quite sure about. Okay, so in order to find that uncertainty, what we're going to need to do is first find the x average. And as you know, x average is equal to x1 plus x2 plus x3. Uh, because we have three samples, so we stop there, divided by the number of samples, okay? And in this case, the number of samples is three. And so that X bar then is equal to, and we add those numbers up, uh, 3.47 plus 3.40 plus 3.44 divided by the number... Uh, 3 here and so we end up with then that this is equal to and you can go ahead and calculate this out I already did it turns out that this is equal to 10.31 divided by the number 3 and when we actually uh, calculate that 10.31 divided by number 3 we end up with 3.44 centimeters if we pay attention to our significant figures, we end up with 3.44 centimeters, okay? All right, so that's our average, or X bar. So now what we need to do is we need to take that average and subtract that from each of the uh, samples that was uh, collected. So starting with uh, sample number one, starting with sample number one, student number one found that let me not use an equal sign there. Student one found, um, what was it, 3.47 minus the average, which is 3.44. Student number two, 3.40 minus 
3.44 and student number three found 3.44 and we're going to subtract 3.44 from that okay so what we end up getting here then when we take the difference is we end up with 0 0.03 okay and we end up here with 0 0.04 and we end up with 0 in this case okay if we now remember we, we said we needed to square those differences right so we now have to square all three of these so that's 0 0.03 and this should be negative I forgot the negative sign there sorry about that this should be 0 0.03 squared this should be negative 0 0.04 squared and of course this is 0 squared all right uh, we have one significant figure here, one significant figure here. When we do uh, 0 0.03 times 0 0.03, we end up with 9 times 10 to the minus fourth with one significant figure. Okay. And when we do the negative 0 0.04, we square that. We end up getting 1.6 times 10 to the minus 3, but because of significant figures, we'll go ahead and make that 2 point, or pardon me, not 2 point, but 2 times 10 raised to the minus 3. Okay, so that's 2 times 10 raised to the minus 3, and let's go ahead and move this across. So it's 9 times 10 to the minus 4, and then of course this is zero okay so now we have our three uh, squared differences alright now according to our calculation here we now need to sum them all up okay so when we sum all three of them up together and this one I'm going to do on the calculator on the screen here so that you can see how this is done are you going to start by opening parentheses and that's going to be 9.0 times 10 um, raised to the minus 4 okay close parentheses and then we need to add that to open parentheses 2.0 times 10 uh, raised to the minus 3 and then we move that across and close parentheses alright so we end up having this on our screen and some of it is actually over here that got cut off and we say we want to equal that and we end up with 2.9 times 10 to the minus third okay 2.9 times 10 to the minus third okay but paying attention again to our significant figures we go ahead and change that to approximately 3 times 10 to the minus third okay so 3 times 10 to the minus third okay going back up here now so we've done everything in the numerator now we need to divide that by the difference of the sample minus 1 the sample number was 3 so 3 now uh, minus 1 gives us 2 so this is going to be equal to then 3 times 10 to the minus 3 divided by 2 right and that gives us then 1.5 times 10 to the minus 3 okay 1.5 times 10 to the minus 3 but again paying attention to significant figures because we had one significant figure over here we're going to make that approximately 2 times 10 to the minus 3 okay so now we've done everything under the radical sign here we need to go ahead and take the square root of everything the results of all of that that was below the radical sign and that result that was below the radical sign was the 2, point, 2 times 10 to the minus 3 so therefore then sigma is equal to the square root of 2 times 10 to the minus 3 okay and let's see what we end up with when we get that 
so I clear my calculator out here so it's 2.0 times 10 raised to the minus 3 and let's go back and put the uh, actually we can go ahead and do this we, if we hit equals it gives us uh, the same thing pretty much and then we can say that we want the square root so I hit the square root button up here and then I tell it I want the square root of my answer so it's giving me a square root of that 2 times 10 to the minus 3 and then I need to convert that and it gives me 0 0.0447 0 0.0447 okay but hold on wait a minute we only need one significant figure so this becomes 0 0.04 okay 0, 0 0.04 and also remember since we were, only, we were looking for the uncertainty related to this position then this also makes sense down here right the 0 0.04 okay so Again, we want to express this scientifically, all right? So here's what this here means. It means that on average, based off of everything, if every measurement that uh, was to continue moving on just in the same uh, estimated, uh, given the same estimated results, then my average, the average person that takes, that does this experiment will end up having 3.44 3.44 as the answer, and the way, where we got that was where we had the X from the X bar up here, 3.44, okay? And then in terms of their uncertainty, okay, it's going to be then plus or minus, plus or minus, the value that we just found here, which was a 0 0.04, okay? And so then what this is saying is that if my students are relatively good at taking measurements that you the value then would be somewhere between 0. Point, uh, pardon me 3.40 to 3.44 4 in terms of the range of the values that we'd end up getting so it's 3.40 uh, to 3.44 as the range and the form that this number is in here by the way is X bar which is average plus or minus Sigma okay and this gives us a nice way to express the uncertainty related to a specific measurement that we found X bar which is average plus or minus Sigma again X bar was 3.44 centimeters and my uh, and my uncertainty was plus 0 0.04 and so therefore then 3.44 plus or minus 0 0.04 which means uh, I should expect almost all of my uh, results to end up within that range of 3.40 to 3.44 all right so this was a demonstration on how to uh, express uh, measurement, uh, uh, pardon me, uncertainty uh, for a measured set of uh, values.